Kevin McCarthy out, Donald Trump in. Now, sources telling me at this hour, some House Republicans have been in contact with and have started an effort to draft former President Donald Trump to be the next speaker. And I have been told uh, that uh, President Trump might be open to helping the Republican Party, at least in the short term, if necessary, uh, if it's needed. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. On the heels of Kevin McCarthy's ouster as Speaker of the House, members of the GOP got to talking, talking about bringing in Donald Trump. I've now heard from a number of people. I know for a fact Donald Trump has been contacted uh, about possibly him being an interim speaker. Is that a reality? I don't know. I, he'd be great, but I, I, actually, I want Donald Trump to be the next president of the United States. If he wants to be speaker, well, he great. Would still, but, well, he, uh, I, I want, I'll be I want clear. Him, I want him to be he'd president still of the United run for States. President. He'd still, go, he's still going to be I, running I for president. Be. Right. That's where we need him. Is at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. If he wants to be speaker, then that's fine too. All right. Well, I think you do want to temporarily to. You can't do them at the same home. time. You can't do them at the same time. I get that. <laughs> you probably could. All right. Thank you. Jim. Not only does Jim Jordan have high hopes for Trump taking a spot on Capitol Hill, but also Texas Representative Troy Nails is making the move. This week, when the U.S. House of Representatives reconvenes, my first order of business will be to nominate Donald J. Trump for Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, Nels said in a statement. President Trump, the greatest president of my lifetime, has a proven record of putting America first and will make the House great again. So who is there? I mean, I, my point is this. I don't think there's anybody in this House, I don't think there's anybody in our conference that could get more than 100 votes. GOP Representative Greg Stubbe of Florida also voiced a similar sentiment to Nell's via social media, however. And given his professed love for Donald Trump, well, Matt Gates would seem less likely to seek to oust him if elected. Absolutely. I support President Trump, eager to campaign with him. Probably our private conversations I'm going to keep to us, but I think I'm in pretty good stead with the former president. You'll see me on the campaign trail with him soon. And by the way, you know who you won't see on the campaign trail at a big rally? Kevin McCarthy. Because if Kevin McCarthy took the stage at a Trump rally, he would be booed off of it like Lindsey Graham. It's hard to believe whether these people are serious about electing Trump as speaker or simply trying to make a grab for MAGA support. Regardless, the reality is that the Speaker of the House need not be a member of the House of Representatives. It also carries a solid six-figure paycheck, which could be valuable for Donald Trump given his financials being somewhat tied up in the moment. Even so, nominating 45 may be a lost cause. Per Rule 26A of the House of Republican Conference Rules for the 118th Congress, a member of the Republican leadership shall step aside if indicted for a felony for which a sentence of two or more years imprisonment may be imposed. Last I checked, Donald Trump was facing quite a few felonies that carry a multi-year prison sentence. Then again, who knows if the Republicans would actually enforce their rules. Either way, I'd say Trump will probably pass on the position if sincerely asked, given that it requires actual work. So how do you all think this is going to shake out? Will the GOP sincerely consider Trump to replace McCarthy? Or is this all just talk? You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit those like and follow buttons. And thanks for watching.